All right, let's go into working with RSS feeds and creating widgets for your website. Uh, most websites have an RSS feed of information that they're um, allowing to uh, you to add to your website and to uh, uh, view in your news browser, uh, your your RSS reader. Um, you probably don't understand any of this, but I'm going to show you um, how to obtain your RSS feed and uh, what to do with it and uh, what the end results will be. Uh, it's very quick and very easy. So here we are at videotodaynews.com, news website. Uh, we'll click on the icon at the top right here, the RSS icon. It's pretty standard in Internet Explorer and in Firefox. So here we'll go to the uh, feeds. Uh, we don't want the sitemap. We just want to take a look at this. So this is going to get us to the RSS feed location. And we're here at the URL at the top. We'll highlight that. We'll right click, copy. And so now that we've got that copied into our um, computer, we're going to go to widgetbox.com. Go to widgetbox and uh, go ahead and create an account or um, start the process. So we'll click make a widget and that takes us to our options. We are going to do a blog or a feed because we're working with an RSS feed. Uh, so we'll click blog slash feed and it opens this little window. We'll right click. We'll paste our RSS feed URL into there um, and click continue. Now this processes the widget and finds all the information that it needs and starts to compile um, your widget for your blog and or websites. Uh, so here it has pulled the logo from the website and now these are all the videos in the order that they were submitted there and you can click on each one of these and uh, it launches the uh, video at that particular website. You have uh, options here to customize content, uh, various different uh, options, and a list, a slideshow, and uh, you can design the look and feel. You can give it a blue look, a green, whatever it is that you like. Um, you can choose your own custom colors. So you find what suits you. I'm going to go with plain white. It fits my logo. I can change the title, different captions, um, the alignment, will center, and then all the good information is all right there. Description. It's pulling keywords basically out of uh, the content that it finds. You can add tags to describe it, and uh, then you click Save Blidget. I have read the terms. I agree. Uh, now, once I save that, oh, I made a mistake. I need to type something in here, and we'll type in News. I'll go back down. I'll go back up and save it. Try again. I'll need to log in there and uh, once you've got that you can uh, get the embed code and add it wherever you need to.